This is the story of how our family vacation went hilariously wrong. Mommy, Kendall is being crazy. Kendall, sit up, please. Why are you filming this? Put your seatbelt on the right way, please. Because he's going to send it to the cops if you don't. And then you're going to get arrested. No, I'm not. You're going to get arrested. We're going to juke. <laughs> this is great. I'm, we're having a blast so far, can you mm -hmm. tell? Oh my goodness. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are on the road headed south on our first sort of real trip in the camper. We are headed to St. Augustine, Florida. And to be honest, it's not been off to a good start. Uh, the kids and the baby have all been screaming and crying in the back of the seat. We are trying to outrun a storm and I just came out of the gas station and noticed that one of these vent covers has blown off and is missing and now it's completely open and exposed so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do about that um i also need to top off some windshield washer fluid and check this out remember in the last video i added this extension to the hitch well the chains are now hardly long enough to reach from the trailer to the truck they're just there but i have to be really careful on tight corners because it pulls tension on that chain uh, so I'm gonna have to extend those chains or put longer chains on here or something. I feel like I need to find a camping world now. So we can get chains and a cover for that thing. We're getting close. We made it through the weather, through the storm, just finally, which is nice because we'll be able to set up dry. Although it always seems to be the case we with a trip like this or the overland trips where I'm always fighting the clock and trying to get to somewhere and not have to set up in the dark. We also realized we didn't pack any pillows. I think there's a Walmart across the street from the campground, so I'm sure I'll be making my way over there to find something to makeshift cover. Crying, baby. Take the exit, then turn left onto State Road 207 North. All right, all right. All right, we are at the Sun Outdoor RV Resort in St. Augustine, Florida. Looks like a nice little place. So one of the features I love about this Jayco is the J Command app that integrates into the system. So I can put the slides out from my phone, which is nice because I can watch to make sure it's not gonna hit the power pole on the other side. I'm getting ready now to put the jacks down and level it out some. And it's nice because I don't have to go inside and press buttons or in some weird hatch. I can stand out here, press the button on my phone and watch it all happen and make sure it's what I want. And let's hope we can get this done before it rains. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. That literally, it just got dark as crap in like the last 15 seconds. And I'm pretty sure it's about to dump. So it's probably as set up as we're gonna get tonight. Oh, I gotta set up the hose, water, and drain.
good morning. The sun is out. Thank goodness. That weather yesterday really sucked. The wind, the rain, all that. We just got done making some breakfast and eating that. Last night's rush to get things done before the rain. Here's what I ended up doing. Remember I lost that cover on the drive down here. And it's the same cover as the lower cover. So I put the, replaced the upper cover and then I put a lid to like a um, storage tote with some flashing tape around that so it still has it can breathe and vent under there right now but at least it's easier to deal with down low than it is way up there and trying to stand on a stool or a ladder or whatever so that was that fix we are going to explore st augustine a bit today st augustine is the oldest city in america i've never been there brandy's been here before so she'll be our tour guide and i got to see if i can get to like a camping world or a gander or something See if you can find a replacement cover for that thing so I don't lose that on the drive back home. You guys ready to go see what St. Augustine, St. Augustine has to offer? Yes, I'm so excited to go see Augustine. Augustine? Uh -huh. Andre Augustine. How about you? Are you excited? Let's go. Successful stop at Gander RV. We got the cover to re repair that side. The next mission is downtown St. Augustine for a Bloody Mary. Can't start. We can't start the rest of the vacation without a Bloody Mary. As long as it's a good one, otherwise we'll bar hop until we find the right one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we're going this way. Are you excited? We're clo closer to a Bloody Mary. Hey girls, what do you think about this new little town so far? It's really cool. Is that a pirate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that spicy Bloody Mary? It's good. We are on A1A, which runs up the east coast of Florida. Girls, you know this is like the most eastern road up Florida. Like this is. This runs all the way up the coast of the state, it's all a cool the way up. Drive. <clears throat> Rain and I drove A1A from Daytona to Jacksonville one time when I had the. We took the rat rod no, to we, the turkey. I think we took from no, we, Miami up. No, we took the rat rod to the turkey uh, rod run, and traffic on 95 North sucked because that was um, Thanksgiving Day weekend, and everyone was going north. So we jumped on A1A, and bypassed some of it. Small town stuff. It took a while, but it was fun. Scenic route. I recommend it. So this is pretty cool. There's a fort here right off the water, obviously, to defend sort of incoming ships. It's large, but there's a massive line of people here to go in there, and we're not going to do that. Oh, I have to go take a picture now. Okay, let's take a picture together. Good job. Master photographer. Thank you. Stopped to get a cup of coffee. Everything around here is pirate themed. It's pretty cool. What do you think about the pirate stuff? You guys want to hold the snake? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Little Elvis is kind of squirmy, so if he gets too squirmy, I'll get another one for you. Daddy? Let me scooch him up a little bit so he's tear off. Oh my gosh. Daddy! Just, 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 Daddy! That's okay. Alright, 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 alright. I got you, baby. You want me to get in? I'll get it now. I'll get you a different one and that's not so squirmy. He's looking for a little mouse. You want another one or are you done? You're done? Your face is so 
daughter. Really bad sweet. She's a kissing snake. Oh, God. Oh, wait, there's so much. There you go. Look at me, look at me. You can pat her back. She's a sweet animal. Kendall, look at me. Ah! You said you wanted to pet the snack. <laughs> I got a little one right here. You want to hold a little one so y'all get a picture together? That's the only way you can do it. That way she don't what? fall on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Two snakes. No, no, no. That's your street name. Two snakes. They hide the money. Here comes two snakes. <laughs> get it off. Get it off. Get it off me. Get it off my mouth. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's make you the snake queen of St. Augustine. That's right. That's Good job. All right. Good job, girl. Yes, look at my arm on that. Oh my god, it was squeezing my waist and he could. <laughs> we should have put one on the baby. Holy smokes. Look at this Land Cruiser. This thing's so clean. Same color as mine. Oh, uh, there's some rust. A little bit of sun damage on the tops of the doors. Same as mine, but this thing's clean. That's a really nice Land Cruiser. Ah, rear window regulator's broken and the window's taped up. I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're staying at the Sun Outdoor uh, RV Resort here in St. Augustine. It's a pretty cool spot. It's a funky little place. Uh, I totally dig it. There's a pool, so we're getting ready to go hit the pool uh, for a little bit while Brandy deals with the baby and gets her ready for nighttime and all those sorts of things. And we'll come back, we'll cook some burgers on the grill, hang out, a little fire, that sort of thing. <laughs> so we really sort of winged it on this trip we kind of underplanned uh this and we sort of i don't know we we booked this hold on no in daddy's room mommy's are on daddy's side of the bed i'm sorry I just... <laughs> so we booked this Oh this has been our whole the trip. trip the whole trip has real. been like this. It's been a complete nightmare. Nightmare. We forgot pillows. The thing flew off the side of the camper. All kinds of I kids have been screaming and crying. What happened yeah. to you this time? <laughs> the whole trip has been just <laughs> chaos. Oh Hannah has not helped the situation. We learned a lot on this trip, and I think a big portion of it is knowing that we're learning a lot and being in the right mindset instead of getting aggravated, say, what can I learn from this so that this doesn't happen again? That's how I'm viewing it. Brandy's just... No, I agree. I just, it's a lot, like, it's, it was stressful. I, I need, like, a, a minute to, like, reevaluate my life. <laughs> because that was rough. Um, it's different than, I oh! Oh, dude. <laughs> I just got pee, like the pee, like a pee, like not pee, but like a pee. A green pee? Green pee juice in my eye. Some of the other issues we had was even just trying to get out of town. The extension I put on the hitch made it so that the safety chains weren't quite long enough. I ended up having to buy some extensions for that. That was the whole thing. We forgot pillows, so I had to go buy those from the store. It took us a couple of hours just to get out of town. All right, we are all packed up and there's only one thing left to do. Gotta put the sticker on. Ha, ha, ha.